I don't know. We we want this trip to serve as like a beacon to like seeing something out there that you want to do, and then figuring out a way to go and tackle it, and be like, yeah, I want to I want to do that. A little update for you guys. Uh, we are live. Uh, we're live right now. Are we live? I th- yeah, we're rolling on here. We're, we're rolling live. on there. We are hey live. guys! Hey guys! This is kind of what we wanted. Sorry for the shakiness, and hopefully you can stand the rumble of the bus. But we are live from the back corner, the studio, studio. of the bus, and it smells like piss. <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. Yep, you're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. A little. Didn't uh, want to make you guys stop. Roadside ingenuity, peeing into a glacier freeze blue glacier freeze Gatorade bottle. All right. Sorry, guys. You just don't have the cool mic some, like some me. Some technical difficulties Can't here. Can't use the mic stands. Okay. Mic stands we're don't fig- work. We're figuring this out. When they're yeah. running. Anyways, Scotty was saying you haven't truly lived if you hadn't done the whole pee, situa- pee in the bottle situation. So that's back there brewing with his coffee that he drank earlier today. Still drinking. Still drinking. <laughs> so we'll see and what happens so, next. So yeah, this is live from the back of the bus. First podcast in the bus. Oh, man, it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? I know. We've been talking about this for, what, a year now? Yeah. At least. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. A little, little impromptu here. You know, we we got three of the four guys. Uh, we got Adam over there driving us. Thank God for that. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just stoked that we're finally on the road, man. It's, what, two, three days now prepping for it. Oh, yeah. It seems surreal. You know, when we came up with this idea, uh, a while ago this is this is what we had in mind it wasn't the uh it wasn't the past two trips even though i'm not discrediting the past two trips but this is kind of like this is kind of what we had in mind all along was having a bus that can be completely independent of itself no follow car or anything we outfit it the way we want the way we see fit and we hit the road Mm -hmm. just four average dudes hitting the road going to really cool places steve's above average but the rest of us i'm above average in napping uh, <laughs> i get quite a lot of naps throughout the day so i would say that i'm above average in that check Beyond that naps, off the list today. yeah yeah took took the nap earlier uh feeling a little refreshed already might might might, might uh what fuck around and find out with another nap later we'll, yeah we'll have to figure that one out to do that uh sure. but and yeah. you got some new reading material i do i've got i've got um who I've is, got a little bit of reading that? material on the bunk there. Is it a picture book? Um, <laughs> I, I, I never got past like a second grade reading level. And so the guys here were very nice enough to get me a picture picture book um, posted up on the bottom of my bunk there for me to read through. So <laughs> it's very entertaining. Um, and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably going to read read through it a couple times this trip, if I'm being honest. Yeah. You get a master's, but still second grade reading level. Right. Yeah. It's a thick bush on that one. <laughs> It's a thick book, if if I'm being honest here. <laughs> it's quite <laughs> thick. So let's let's paint the picture for everyone with three C's. Where where we're at, and where we're headed. <laughs> we are on the interstate right now, coming to you live from Utah, and we are headed, hopefully, towards the Colorado border. This is it. Adam's just we're just going with wherever Adam takes us. He could be taking us to Montana, and we don't even know it. Damn, you, how'd you figure that one out? <laughs> <laughs> like, this looks a lot like Ennis, guys. Like, surprise! <laughs> you know, there's a place like Ennis in Colorado. Yeah, you know, Ennis, Ennis Colorado, guys. That's where we're headed to. <laughs> what, what was uh, so coming into this trip? I know we all had a lot going on, and it was obviously we all are in our separate lives doing things. But what was uh, what were you guys thinking coming into this trip? What was going through your head, and I mean, a big trip like this, a lot of prepping, and now we're finally here. So, what kind of what was what was going through y'all's head coming into this? Go ahead, B. What was going through my head? Uh, actually, I was pretty confident, and I'm gonna knock on wood right now. It's not that I'm not confident; it's just bad things can happen. But we've we've had time to kind of prove this situation. It, it, actually. Let me back up. We've had time to improve the situation. We started with a crappy bus, and we did we did pretty well out of it. And we, we saw what worked and what didn't work. And so now we have a new and improved bus. And 
I have faith. There's enough DIY spirit in here and just get her done spirit where we're going to figure it out. Yeah. And so I have confidence in each and every one of you guys because we do trips like this a lot. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of what, what I was feeling. It wasn't really like a nervous feeling or anything like it was, I was pretty excited. It's like, all right, let's go. And that's the whole goal of the bus for us. I think is, is to be able to do more of these trips. Oh yeah. And like we've talked about in the past, kind of you, the go, go hustle and bustle of every single day. And, uh, sometimes you just need a little time to, to kind of reset. And I think the more that you can implement that <clears throat> into your life, the better it'll, uh, when you go back to doing it, everything else, it'll be much easier and, uh, mentally you'll be much better. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, Steve. So I guess let me, to, to get you guys in the right mindset for my thought process coming out for this trip, let me, I, I'm gonna have to paint a quick picture for you guys. So imagine this. You work for a defense contracting company, one of the bigger ones in the nation. And you, your job is to basically explain numbers and government compliance to people that are twice your age, that have been doing this longer than you, but don't know what the hell they're doing half the time. And so be, you're basically herding cats. And so here I am at 8.30. Like I do love cats. I'm a cat fanatic. He's a cat guy. Yeah. That's I'm a cat guy. Fish and or right, Sorry, I got you off track. Fish and or cats, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I anyway. wish I wish I'd taken that one, to be honest. <laughs> So anywho, so here I am at 8.30 at night, the night before I'm flying out to come out here, and I'm trying to do a breakdown of the counteroff that we got from a customer and trying to explain it to contracts, our contracts rep. Who doesn't know what the hell one plus one equals, if I'm being honest? Legally, she, she's got all that stuff down. And so my mindset was, I swear to fucking God, if you guys don't get this shit so I can pack my shit, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. And so it was probably about 10 o'clock that night before I actually got done with work, got everything cleaned up, and started packing. <laughs> and so it's about 12.30 that I actually got everything packed by the front door, laid down in bed, and I was like, took a deep breath, <sighs> nice sigh, and I was like, I cannot wait to get out there, guys. I have, I have been grinding so hard this year, pretty much since Thanksgiving of last year. We've been working 10, 12-hour days, five, six days a week at least, if not seven days a week. And, you know, we had that quick break for the smallmouth trip earlier this year. But other than that, we haven't really had time off. So, you know, getting out here, being able to have some time off, you know, it kind of just it really didn't hit me until I was actually on the plane ride that next day. And so to be out here, you know, great relief, great relaxation. And then now that we're actually on the bus here, you know, to B's point, you know, it's it's surreal seeing it actually all come together. Mm -hmm. And those dreams that we've been talking about since early last year cut actually come together being able to sit here and have this podcast oh, yeah. you know we've we've talked about it we've talked about it we've talked about it and we finally did it and that's just right there gives me the little goosebumps on the, on the skin there just thinking it's like we did it guys we yeah. we, we, ha we haven't made it but Heck we did yeah. it yeah but i think to your point earlier <clears throat> um you gotta you know obviously this was the idea was to have something like this right we're going to continue to hopefully improve it each each trip that we go on but i think we had to just start with something yeah you, we had to get the get the ball rolling get that cheap ass bus. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Great memories in it. Yeah, and, really good uh, memories. It worked for two really cool trips. I did, and it got us to to this point. So I think yeah, it's just it's always a parallel to whether it's fly fishing or filming or anything like that. Like you just got to start, take those first yeah. steps, and then the rest of itself will figure itself. Or the rest will figure itself out, and that's kind of what we do with these trips. We're just figuring it out mm -hmm. as we go. Yeah, <laughs> yep. but have a plan. Like in the like have. I don't know. We we want this trip to serve as like a beacon to like seeing something out there that you want to do and then figuring out a way to go and tackle it and be like, yeah, I want to I want to do that. We get a lot of DMs from well, I I do sometimes. I, I'm sure you guys do where it's like, man, I want to do this. I want to do the same thing as you guys. And like we want this this whole series to like serve as a beacon to be like yo you can do this this is not that expensive like you saw where we started like this is definitely an upgrade here but like we started with 1800 bucks into a bus and we're the last thing we want people to do is copy our idea and uh you saw where my mind was going there <laughs> good good way to pause there <laughs> yeah the, the last yeah. thing we want to do is for people to copy our idea 
what we want this trip and these series to be are just motivators to be like, okay, we have this cool, I or we want you to, hold on, I'm trying to, trying to get my thoughts together. We yeah. want it to serve as a beacon for people that we want it to motivate people to get out there and plan something themselves. You know, taking a bus, like a like a short bus like we did and modifying it is not really original. We're not the first ones that came up with that idea. Mm-hmm. But the last thing we want to create is a bunch of copycats out there. And so, that, yeah. It, we're that, basically, hopefully, <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we're being Sitting attacked back. here. This is, this is part of it, come, guys. Coming right for us. But I think it's it goes into the same thing when we're we're talking about when we film our trips and we go to a place that's maybe remote or wherever we go and we're not going to share where we're going it's not because we yeah. don't want you to know where this place is it's we want you, one we understand that we want to respect obviously the people who that's so to say their home waters and that's a very sacred place um that's one thing but also we want to motivate you guys to find kind of your own adventure whatever that might be it doesn't have to be a bull trout trip into Idaho or Canada or a, you know, Brookie trip in North Carolina. It can be whatever it is you want. And so I think to your point, you know, this trip is hopefully can help people ho- mo- hope motivate people to take initiative, whatever, whatever that might be. Yeah. Whether it's a fishing trip, whether it's a ski trip, whether it's just getting outside maybe one or two more times per week, just, just freaking do it. And yeah. hopefully this can be kind of a catalyst for that definitely yeah like i was saying the last thing we want is you know you you've missed the point if there's just a bunch of short buses driving around that are fly fishing mobiles yeah you know it can be a good fishing mobile but you know it's you don't have to do this it's a lot of work <laughs> first off that's a, it's a lot of work let me just go ahead and talk to you guys about that if you think you're just gonna get up here and try to do copycat and do the same thing and modify the short bus unless you're just throwing a shitload of cash at it it's it's work yeah we've been grinding on this all year adam's put god knows how many hours into getting this thing outfitted. oh yeah got one of our buddies helping us out with it he's really good with his hands too so you know before you just straight up try to copycat us just realize that it is a lot of work too but also at the end of the day to y'all's point too you know and i say this time and time again just you know it's about having fun yeah you know that's that this right here is a it's it's not about a message it's not about you know making a statement with this we just wanted to have a, it's a mean sentence for us yeah it's how we can get out and have fun have everything together in a cool little vehicle that we can all just ride the other end and be able to have this podcast in the back for it you know this is these are things that we enjoy doing and we're just kind of throwing it all together and making it fit mm-hmm. and it's fun too no matter who watches the vid- video or not it's just fun to have this to look back on like oh yeah i oh, love yeah. looking back on everyone's small old youtube videos of mine and just oh my gosh i forgot about that trip look how much better i've become as an angler or as a filmmaker and it's i don't know it's just fun to, it's fun to watch it back and have this no matter you know maybe mm-hmm. 10 years down the road to be oh able yeah to look 100%. back on even a couple of years ago when we first started this uh i guess we were in idaho when last we were year. doing the the was that last year 2020 yeah it was like a year and a half ago but anyways yeah. when we went to idaho and uh we were all just kind of hanging out in the bus it was like maybe one of the first couple of nights we were sleeping in there and i, I remember some of the footage or or something I, maybe it was from a phone or i forgot all of us, all of us just cracking up on Bumps. the inside of, <laughs> yeah inside of here and just just cheesing yeah, yeah. I I looked back at that the other day and laughed. Oh, I love it, and and especially the Yeti cooler oh. that we, if you guys remember from Volume One, Adam was tying flies on our Yeti cooler that we had at the time, and yeah. our you know we wanted to improve it, we wanted to have a fly tying section, and now right behind Bryant we have a dedicated fly tying section. Yes, and the Yeti cooler is now the seat, so oh, it's yeah. kind of cool to see it uh, evolve and grow. You know. A little upgrade to it, but you know. Yeah, it's I mean, still there. dude, this is a legit. That is the size of a of a tying station you could have in a house, oh, in easily, your apartment easily. or something. And you know, once Adam gets some time to populate it with all the supplies, it's gonna be even more legit. Yeah, looking forward to that. So, what are you guys most excited about for Colorado? Uh, two things, I guess. Free beer, always, always a good thing. It, the, my life motto: the the two types of beer they have. First one's free beer. Second one's cold beer. And we're going to get both of that on this trip. That's so right. So I'm stoked for that. Plus, we're going to be ripping streamers. Yeah. I don't well, have to throw a damn dry fly. I don't have to nymph. I'm you, just going to be ripping streamers. You get to throw a nymph. 
in a dry fly? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll kick you out of this box. <laughs> I'm excited just about, you know, being on the bus and hanging out with you guys. And, uh, you know, the fishing's kind of whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah. I want to get up to, like, some high alpine stuff and, and really look at uh, some of the uh, – kind of the off off the path such like uh, what am I trying to say stumbling kind of, on my words uh, off the beaten path yeah like yeah off locations. the path locations and you know catching some rookies or or cutties up there so yeah I mean I honestly one of the things I feel like I don't know that much about Colorado fly fishing I've only been there two times and yeah the fishing was very short I never got to actually take the time to go really try to pick apart a stream and understand the the fishery but i think also being it being fall and being kind of cooler i i'm always i love when uh seasons are changing and especially the fall you know you get through that hot summer you got you not we all know from being in the Ooh, south yeah. Oh, yeah you get through that hot summer and especially when you go to the mountains where it's a little bit further uh, into fall right now and we're going to be able to just be in such cool temperatures it's comfortable it's not winter yet but it's it's still cooler than it than it might be yeah um, or than it was so i'm i'm really excited to fish and just spend time outside during that it, it just feels the air feels so good when you're when you're out there yeah. and just to see what colorado really has because you know it's not one of those places that like it's there's ton of people that fish colorado and it's and there's so much available mm -hmm. and we're obviously not gonna be able to hit everything but I'm just excited to see what we run into and uh, the streamer fishing in the fall. Yeah, should be kind of sick. Going back to what you were saying, Steve, on like resetting, I want to do a podcast, sit down with a neurologist. I know one, um, Anna. Oh, Adam's <laughs> wife. That's right. And learn the science about what chemicals are being released Ooh. when you step outside and do this reset. So that would do that. That would be, a be good really one, yeah. good. Yeah, we should get her on and and let her break down what's like what what chemicals are are going on. Like, mm -hmm. why is it such a big release? I, I bet you, and I, I think I've heard this on Joe Rogan. Uh, it's like I forgot what the guy was. he brought on a neurologist. Oh, and they, Andrew they, Huberman. I forgot. Maybe. Probably. But they uh, they like touched on like going outside and having a reset like that, and it's like something to do with like your ancestors a long time ago. I, I don't know. There was like some really cool point. Obviously, I retained it really well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I would like you to understood see, it though. Yeah, I, w I would like to see uh, Anna, who is Adam's wife, uh, her perspective on what's going on in your brain and why why it resets you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I've just become more and more fascinated the more I've gotten into this. Obviously, the fish is always, you know, I think when you first start out, especially, that's always the big draw. Like, I just want to catch fish. Yeah. But especially getting more and more into it, I've been just fascinated by it, how it can affect you, how can it um, help you, and just being outside and what it does to you and how, how more people can hopefully hopefully get, get outside and do that. If you yeah. notice, like, yeah. I mean, I guess Steve said rip in a big streamer, but at first we, we didn't really say fish at all. Like, I think we're all kind of on the same page. Like fish is kind of just secondary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To yeah. Me. Yeah, I, definitely. I mean, this whole project is, it's, it's to get us through this entire trip, not just the, the fishing. It's like to enjoy the camp life, yep. to enjoy, to have a place to, to sleep so we don't have to spend on lodging or spend money on lodging, you know, long term, uh, and just have everything we need right in one place. It'll, it'll be interesting <laughs> some of the roads we get into if if we get, go down any sketchy roads. We're gonna we're gonna let there, Adam drive for that. <laughs> we've hit a few bumps on the highway uh -huh. so far, and I've been a little nervous. So I don't know how a gravel road's gonna go. <laughs> Things are gonna have to be strapped in. Yeah, we'll figure it out one way or the other. Yeah, we yeah, got enough exactly. duct tape. Exactly. All right, where, where do we want to take this? All right, we're going through the mountains right now. And, dude, the leaves are already starting to change. We see yellows and reds. Oh, God. I want, bees turning into a leafer. <laughs> I want a picture of this multicolored bus 
against like just a multicolored backdrop. Oh my god. That's that's, that's the Christmas sick. card right there. Yes. That's yeah. The, yeah, that's the Christmas card. Yes. That's gonna be good. We're gonna get some 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 proper foliage, I believe. Well, uh, I am stoked about that. This time of year in Colorado, those yeah. aspens are gonna be looking beautiful. I'm not much of a leafer, but I enjoy it. Yeah. You gotta I'm, appreciate I'm gonna enjoy it. This. Yeah. I'm not gonna go out of my way to drive through it to look at them, but as we drive through them, I will enjoy it. It's pretty cool. I'm just excited to, to drag uh, Stephen Adam on a uh, wade trip one day when we hike in somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Adam won't have his boat. I, we'll have to. We'll leave that one up to in the air for now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't committed to anything. <laughs> Steve, do you see your board here? Yeah, that's impressive. I've missed ten fish, and all I did was a nap. <laughs> <laughs> we were just making an example for the folks, but. This is going to be uh, a tally throughout the whole trip that we're going to have to go back to. And we'll have my missed fish, Scotty's broken rods. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. What's, Adam's what's beer's mark? drunk. <laughs> well, mark? we might need the whole board for that one. <laughs> B, what, what are we going to tally for you? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Snacks. How many, B's, B's, how many Tinder dates yeah, how many, goes how on? Many, how many uh, likes can you get on Tinder? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, like, chip bags or something. Oh, yeah, every bag of chips. Yep. Chip bags. That's one. Every, we need another board for every that, Every bag of chips defeated. Yeah. That's mine. So we, we've we been doing this for about a year and a half, the, the bus deal, right? And we put a lot of energy, a lot of money into it. We haven't seen a ton of return monetarily so far. Obviously, we've been able to fund these trips. Yeah. But I kind of want to... What what is what has been bringing both of you guys back to to keep doing these and continue to try to improve the bus, go on bigger, better trips, and improve the productions? Like why is that? Even you know, there's not hasn't been much of a return, so to say, yet. I mean, I think we've already gone over that. Just hanging out, hanging out with it. Like you guys, aside from oh, look, I'm peeking. You guys, aside from like the production we're doing like we're, we're already going to do this like we, y'all are some of my best fishing my only fishing buddies um really mm-hmm. and so we would we would be doing this anyways so i mean having the the recap like the video that can recap the trip and tell what's going on is, is going to be really cool to see in the future and i mean that's kind of what it brings me back is is just I mean, we, we enjoy fishing together regardless if there's cameras in our hands or, or yeah. not. So it's just a, a cool way to do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we were, we were already going to do this, so, yeah. Just giving us some of the means to help with, with this, you know. Oh, yeah. And this is just such a cool way to, to like, reach out to, to people. Um, we're really trying to, to hammer in just this DIY spirit and I, I love seeing people get jacked on it and yeah. so like it's that's something mm-hmm. I believe in and that's something that my parents taught me when I was when I was little you know if you like if you want to go somewhere you know plan a trip go mm-hmm. you know I, I, I plan a lot of fishing trips in high school and like out west and like you know didn't know anything about out west i was like i'm going and the parents did a good job of teaching me that but you know it's just like i want to inspire people and i think this is just a, a fun way to inspire people and so yeah that's that's kind of what keeps me going back yeah keeps me it. coming back because I, I i want to i i love it when it's like a really big compliment to all of us when someone's like man I watch your video and I went out with some of my best friends and I did a fishing trip on my own. That's exactly, I think, that's exactly what we're striving for. I teared up a little bit hearing you say that. <laughs> Ab- I, above money and anything, I think that is the, the major goal mm-hmm. and uh, kind of mission of this, you know, is to hopefully help others kind of find their, their route with a trip like this. Oh, yeah. And wow. It could be as simple as you want it to be. You guys are way too noble. I'm just here because it's fun. Like, I mean, Adam and I have been doing trips like, not like this, this, but since uh, since undergrad, uh, our manager would let us have like two, three weeks off at a time. Just, I mean, we were, we were hourly, so just, we just wouldn't get paid. Not like we had PTO or anything, but we'd start coming out to Montana, just drive out there. And, you know, every year it's like, okay, what can we do better? What can we do? What can we do to have more fun? How can we make this trip better? 
and then you know start collaborating with you guys and y'all had that brilliant idea about the bus last year it was like yeah let's do that and you know each trip is just scaling up from that and just like you know it's more and more fun every time we come out here yeah. and that's that's what keeps bringing me back here yeah I, I enjoy having fun as for someone that works as much as i do it's hard to, it's hard for me to tell people that make sure you have fun but like that's that's yeah. the end of it for me and drink a little brown water a little brown water some yeah. some free beers you know and just enjoy it so yeah. i love how it started off as a joke like i, I threw it in the group uh-huh. chat say let's let's buy a short bus and outfit it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was one of uh, is you could like meme it it was one of those where we all were like haha that's funny yeah it's hilarious but but and actually then, and then a pause <laughs> wait that's actually kind of a good idea <laughs> But it encapsulates exactly what what we want. Yeah. So I think too, each trip that we go on, uh, no matter where it is or what we're doing, there's always you can always learn something about that area or learn something about the technique, and yeah. you're you're constantly challenging yourself. I I just I don't like when I'm at a position where I'm just fishing the same creek over and over again and the yeah. same flies that just that's not what appeals to me yep. so going in these and being able to see a bunch of different places in the country and oh, hopefully yeah. around the world eventually are you saying just, you're tired of fishing blue line flies no <laughs> <That's what laughs> believe it or not i <laughs> fish dries <laughs> sometimes top water streamers <laughs> top water streamers. <laughs> i've heard of those exactly <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i'm saying uh that's that's just always so cool about these these trips instead of just getting stuck in your local water and which is, there's nothing wrong with your local water but um instead of becoming complacent i mm-hmm. think through experience and through actually doing a trip like this you you actually improve a lot as an angler and as a person and so that's a big draw for me uh, it's nice getting out and exploring you know I, you know i know adam's bashed a little bit but you know you know to your point earlier none of us have really fished colorado before so it's nice to get yeah. out explore kind of check out another part of the country and see what it has to right. offer because you know you're going to get different morphology to the stream there's going to be different structure different types of holding patterns for these fish so being able to get out there not only is going to make you a better angler but you know let you see more of the country you know and that to, to me that's one of the biggest parts of life you know getting out and just seeing things and how, how many people just sit in front of their screen all day long whether it yeah. be your phone your ipod your or ipad sorry uh, who has an iPod these days? Uh, laptop. <laughs> I have know, an computer. iPod. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have an iPod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's somewhere in my house though. TV, from, but yeah. From 2010 or something. <laughs> but everybody just sits there, and you know, too many people don't don't get out and see the world. You know, yeah. that's just it's your uh, playground out here. Go down and explore and have fun. Yeah, I feel like we're we're rambling, but I really do like that point. And I've said this to several other people, not on the podcast, but I want to see a statistic of like, think about how many people are in New York or new england i'm not just throwing shade at anyone you know just just in like the northeast and i i know i have talked to several people i'm not grouping everyone together but there are a lot of people in the east that don't really think about the west being at their disposal and i'm not saying that in a bad way like come out here and wreck the west but like you have you well maybe if you're not in if you're in New York, maybe you don't have a car, but like chances are you have a car and you have some friends and there's a great big country. Our, our, our nation is big. Yeah. And there's a lot of it. You don't have to go to the freaking Mal Maldives or whatever, or Seychelles, or you have this big country that has so many cool things. And so, yeah, explore it. it, it go explore it. It's we all have lists. I have a list in my phone of different places that oh, yeah. I want to go fish. I want to explore. And uh, dude, I don't know. It's just a, fly fishing. That I haven't found a better way to to go explore a place yeah. than fly fishing. Because think about it. I mean, you're not gonna go to a lot of these locations that are on this river in the middle of nowhere, you know. up, way up a creek. You're floating down the streams, passing through miles and miles of country. You wouldn't go there without fly fishing. And so I think that's just so cool. Yeah, it is cool. And we're we're not saying you have to fly fish all over the country. Right, right. I mean, just just go out and do anything. We're, I guess that appeals we should, to us. We should send this podcast off by sending out all you DIY folks. Hopefully, we planted a seed in there, the the go do it yourself seed, mm-hmm. and we're sending you off. So don't copy us, but like, go do something cool. Yeah take elements from this trip and from what we're doing and apply it to whatever you want to do yeah i think that's uh 
that's an easy way to get a kickstart on whatever whatever you want to get going whatever trip you're you're destined to go on hell yeah and make so, sure you have fun guys make sure you have yep. fun above all have fun with it this was uh live from the back of the bus already oh wait i was gonna throw the hat at <laughs> <laughs> the headphones here you go here you go see you